In the summer of 2019, I started writing a collection of songs which would become the album Butterfly. The backing tracks featured all of the usual suspects, Tim Hamill on guitar, Andrew Wall Coughlin on bass, Ryan Aston on drums, and Nigel Hopkins on Rhodes. The inspiring arrangements Andrew Griffiths had produced sounded amazing using string samples, but we both knew that they would sound even better with a real orchestra. So we booked some plane tickets and headed east to Prague. When we got there, we found a city full of music. So it's early January, and I've come to Prague to record an orchestra for my new album, Butterfly. It's a beautiful city, and the studio that we're going to be working in is called Schmacky. It sounds better when you say it like Sean Connery. It's one of the oldest studios in Prague. Apparently, Albert Einstein played violin there, and it was used uh, during the Commons era for some of the big radio broadcasts. Uh, I'm not alone. I came here because of my arranger from a struggle nice lab called Andrew Griffiths. He's been here a number of times. Uh, and he's going to explain why we've come to, to Prague and what we can expect over the next couple of days. The level of musicianship that I've seen here is, you know, it is world class. Um, we've got a lot of material to record and I know within the short time that we have we will definitely be able to get all that done to the highest standard. So it is just marvellous to be able to come here to a world class studio using world class musicians. One of the first professional opportunities I had to work as well was uh, well, maybe one or two months after graduating university and it was on the Mal Polk show. And me and my brothers, we worked as a horn section, so we were the brass monkeys. Such a, a pleasure to work in, in a professional environment with a great band and uh, yeah, it's a, a memory that will remain with me for my whole life. Looking for love, then suddenly 